I would like to do some calculations on waves and this will form part one of the calculations. This will help you do your revision or make it better the understanding of what the concepts of waves are. This part one is a mixture of questions in various parts of waves and therefore you will do well to select which part is most relevant for what you want to understand. So let's go to question one. A progressive wave travels a distance of 18 centimeters in 1.5 seconds. If the distance between successive crests is 60 millimeters, calculate part A, the frequency, part B, the periodic time of the wave motion. Now, our interest in this question is simply to find frequency and periodic time given the parameters of the wave as given in the question. So as a solution part, we would find the speed of this wave, which is found by distance traveled over time taken in seconds and distance in meters. So we have been given that a progressive wave travels a distance of 18 centimeters. So we have to convert this 18 centimeters into meters that will result into 18 times 10 raised to power negative 2 and seconds is 1.5. So dividing this we end up with 0 0.12 meters per second. That is the speed. Why are we finding the speed? It is one of the very critical components of the wave equation which is going to help us find frequency and then periodic time. So lambda which is the wavelength is given as 60 millimeters. Dividing by 1000 to get to meters, you end up with 0 0.060 meters. So from the wave equation, C is equal to lambda F. So that simply by rearranging gives us F equals to C over lambda. And C we have as 0 0.12 and lambda is 0 0.060. Dividing this using any other tool, you end up with 2.0 has that is the frequency so this result is very important in finding now the periodic time so the section of the periodic time is simply the inverse of uh, frequency so we'll take 1 divided by 2.0 which is the value for frequency we found for the wave and we get 0 0.0.50 0 .0 seconds as the, the, the value for periodic time. Now question 2 says the following. Calculate the speed of propagation of longitudinal waves in a solid of Young's modulus 2.0 times 10 raised to the power 11 newtons per meter square and density 7.0 times 10 raised to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube. So normally when we are investigating for waves, we have to take into consideration the mechanical properties of these materials involved. So Young's modulus is one of the properties, alongside density, which is a common thing we know as we're dealing with materials, bodies, and so on and so forth. So we want to use these uh, properties to estimate the speed of propagation of waves in a given solid. So trying to find the solution, we know Young's modulus is 2.0 times 10 raised to power 11 and the density is 7.8 times 10 raised to power 3. The common formula for finding this is speed C is given by root of Young's modulus over density. So this is just about keying in the values given in the question and you solve them out. So this is, this is, these are good examples for introductory aspects of calculations related to waves. So this is basically root uh, from our, our solution. We have root 2.0 times 10 raised to the power 11 divided by 7.8 times 10 raised to the power 3 and this gives us 5.06 times 10 raised to the power 3. Simple calculations. Question 3. A progressive wave has an amplitude of 0 0.4 meters and wavelength 2.0 meters. 
at a given time the displacement y equals to 0 at x equal to 0. Calculate the displacement at x equal to 0 0.50 meters. We are trying to talk about a, a sinusoidal a wave pattern that is described by a sine transform. So trying to solve this, we are talking about displacement. This is what represents y and r is the amplitude so there's this, there's this value x in the horizontal axis and you can see the pattern the wave is tracing. So our r from the question is 0 0.4 meters. The wavelength of the wave itself is 2.0 meters. So y is given by the equation r sine kx where k is wave number. So this k is actually what we are going to find first before we can substitute the values and find y, which is the displacement. k equals to 2 pi over lambda, and lambda is the wavelength. Wavelength is given in the question, therefore we bring in 2.0 uh, as a, a, a denominator of the formula, and therefore we end up having 2 pi divided by 2.0, that is just resulting to pi per meter. Therefore, y is equal to 0 0.4 sine in bracket we have pi times 0 0.5 this 0 0.5 is the value of x in this uh, which is being asked in this question uh, upon which we need to find the displacement so y is equal to 0 0.4 sine 90 pi times 0 0.5 gives us 90 uh, and sine of 90 is 1 and therefore the result here will end up at 0 0.4 meters very simple stuff sometimes you will find questions related to finding uh, face angle and so on and so forth and these are just good for practices maybe one time I will bring in another qu another question which is talking about face difference and angles question 4 in Young's double slit experiment mercury green light of wavelength 0 0.54 micrometers was used with a pair of parallel slits of separation 0 0.60 millimeters the fringes were observed at a distance of 40 centimeters from the slates. Calculate the fringe separation. Okay. So we need to uh, get some statistics or some values from this question. The wave in question here has a wavelength of 0 0.54 times 10 raised to power negative 6 meters. Okay. Slit separation, that is the distance between the uh, slates, is 0 0.6 times 10 raised to power negative 3. Now at the point of observation, that is some distance from the slates, which we will represent by letter D, is 0 0.40 meters. Now normally, or from physics equations or wave equations, finding fringe separation is given by the equation lambda D over A. D is already defined, A already defined, lambda is the wavelength. And those are just values we have in the question. So you can substitute this, 0 0.54 times 10 raised to power negative 6 meters, times 0 0.40 meters, which is our D, all over A, which is 0 0.60 times 10 raised to power negative 3 meters. That reduces to this, because we just solved the numerator. Divide by that, you end up with y equals to 0 0.36 times 10 raised to power negative 3 meters, which of course in standard form gives us this value. So this is the separation we are talking about from the calculations. Now that actually is the end of part 1. More questions will come, so it is safer for you to subscribe, so that immediately that is done, or the video is uploaded, you'll be informed. And then you watch and you learn and you become better. Thank you.